Senator Alan Cayetano is the new Foreign Secretary. President Rodrigo Duterte makes the announcement before he left for Cambodia to attend a World Economic Forum event. Duterte's running mate in the 2016 election, Cayetano was reportedly being eyed for the foreign affairs or justice portfolio. Cayetano's appointment had to wait due to a one-year ban on candidates occupying government posts. He will replace acting Foreign Affairs Secretary Enrique Manalo. Manalo was appointed after Perfecto Yasai Jr. was rejected by the Commission on Appointments for lying about his American citizenship. He is part of the Philippine delegation to Switzerland for the Universal Periodic Review of the Philippines before the United Nations Human Rights Council, where he defended the Duterte administration's bloody war on drugs. Duterte also announces the appointment of Armed Forces Chief of Staff Eduardo Año as the next Interior Secretary. The President says Año will serve as AFP Chief until he retires in October. Human Rights Watch on Wednesday slammed Senator Alan Cayetano's opening statement before United Nations member countries, calling it a, quote, masterclass in innovative defense of the indefensible. HRW Deputy Director for Asia, Phil M. Kine, says the Philippine government is delusional if it thinks it can sway countries from condemning the extrajudicial killings linked to President Rodrigo Duterte's war on drugs. Cayetano insisted during the Universal Periodic Review in Switzerland that there is no new wave of killings in the Philippines. He blamed critics and local media for deceiving the world. Kain says Cayetano's defense is a new tactic of the Duterte administration to deny the extrajudicial killings in the war on drugs as anything out of ordinary. Despite Cayetano's insistence, at least 45 countries expressed concern over the rise of EJKs under the Duterte administration. Members of women's groups on Wednesday filed an ethics complaint against the Senate Ethics Committee Chairman, Senate Majority Leader Tito Soto, for his demeaning remark against single mothers during a Commission on Appointments hearing. The complaint stems from Soto's comment on Social Welfare Secretary Judy Tagiwalo's status as a single mother. Complainant said Soto's comments showed that he views single mothers, quote, as less than others, demeaning and disparaging women in the same position and making them easy targets of jokes and ridicule. They say Soto's comment, which he later on said was a joke, undermined the CA because what he said were part of the minutes of the proceedings. Soto met with the Federation of Solo Parents on Tuesday, promising to seek more benefits for them. He called the controversy over his remark a blessing in disguise because it highlighted the plight of solo parents. Supreme Court Senior Associate Justice Antonio Carpio questions proposals for a visiting forces agreement between the Philippines and China. The deal would allow Chinese troops to hold military exercises with the armed forces of the Philippines. It's difficult to have a BFA with a country that's claiming your territory and your maritime zones. I mean, how can you have uh, military naval exercises in the West Philippine Sea if you're doing it with a country that's claiming the West Philippine Sea? I mean, uh, for me, it's common sense. President Rodrigo Duterte earlier said he is open to joint exercises between the Philippines and China. Duterte made the statements as Chinese warships visited his hometown Davao City last week, the first time in seven years that Chinese vessels visited the Philippines. The Philippines has a VFA with the United States and Australia, allowing joint exercises with these two countries. The Balikatan, the biggest military exercises with the U.S., is ongoing in various parts of the Philippines. South Korea's new president, Moon Jae-in, is sworn in on Wednesday, a day after a landslide election victory. The left-leaning Moon immediately declares his willingness to visit Pyongyang amid high tensions with the nuclear-armed North. The former human rights lawyer backs engagement with North Korea, in contrast to the threatening rhetoric from the Trump administration in recent weeks. Moon says, quote, If needed, I will fly to Washington immediately. I will also go to Beijing and Tokyo and even Pyongyang in the right circumstances. Aside from dealing with Pyongyang, Seoul is embroiled in disputes with China over United States missile defense system and former colonial occupier Japan over wartime history. Domestically, Moon faces the aftermath of the huge corruption scandal that saw his predecessor Park Gun-hye impeached and left the country bitterly divided. <laughs>